Hello everyone and welcome back to Amnesia The Dark Descent. So, uh, we last left off uh, going down memory lane with a blue orb and we are stuck in this area here after, well, that happened. Okay. Uh, floor plans. Uh, well, obviously these are the floor plans. There's a chest over here though. Hello, what is in your oil? A couple of tinder boxes. Excellent, the piano is playing again. Who's doing that? Quit it. Ghost piano. Hmm. Alright, what's over here? Oh, a flashback. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. They're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Okay, so they were working together to stop something from coming in. Okay, well, it looks like I can get in there. Fragile, but not breakable by hand. I somewhat doubt you, sir. See? I'm super strong. Oh, another flashback. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Daniel. Yeah, Daniel. God. Can never be too careful. There's another sound monster somewhere. Oh. Okay, so that's like the sound of the thing. This one looks similar. Uh, is there another one? Oh, you. Puzzle solved. Because I'm a smarty pants. Uh, I want to look back here first. Let's, uh, let's light a thing. Or two. There's a note in here. I want to read it. Smash. Thank you, box. Okay. Uh, local folklore. Alstad and Brennenburg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lore is Alstad. I, I think I'm pronouncing that right, I'm probably butchering it. Deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor castle, Brennenburg. The quiet forest clad mountains just with scattered lakes is as pi picturesque as can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. The, the dark what? Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. Uh, all of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. Sorry, motifs. The Gatherers. The story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought by their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside deep, sorry, damp burlap sacks, dragged behind them which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? There's a lot of reading here. Uh, visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. Agrippa. The well-known, uh, Erudite visited the Alistad uh, at the start of the 16th century. He resided in a local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdoms past. 
During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Altstad, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was the mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? The Immortal Baron The Baron of Brennenburg lives a reclusive life with his family at the castle nearby Altstad. And, like most, those of noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with that title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remained popular throughout the presume, his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage, therefore the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago lived throughout the time of occupation, and joined the coveted Black Order of the Black Eagle, along with other great leaders of this country. Alright, a little bit of history there then. Well, uh, let's explore that door that opened up and see what's inside. Hello. A key. The wine cellar key. Excuse me. Is somebody there? Evidently not, but they were. Um, okay. Just gonna take a quick look around. Why not a piece of paper? Regarding closing of the wine cellar, well now, Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent-mindedness absent handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brandenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off, not until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave, or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It wouldn't make sense. Solve both of my problems. Okay, so you locked up Wilhelm. You're the guy you made a contract with. Get out of your chair, you're in my way. And nothing left in here. Alright, I guess we'll go through this boopy door that opened. Hello? Much. Okay, I think I came through that way. So I guess we'll go in here then. Excuse me. Oh. I saw you. You. Well, I somewhat saw you. Where'd you go? Chair. Chair, make sure it's clear for me. Is it good? Okay. You lied to me, Jim. I trusted you. You lied to me. And my lantern is out of oil. Apparently the monster likes to play the piano, but we're out of here. Back to the entrance hall. A handful of sand trickled from the crumbling stone ceiling and pushed down on the brim of his hat. He braced himself as the cavern suddenly shifted and settled. And, oh. I got attacked by nothing. Oh, never mind. It's a, a red goop. A red goop formed. I think it's the same stuff that was... or is blocking my way to go down. Well, we got the key for the wine cellar. 
So uh, let's go make use of that then. Mine cellar was down here. Alright, I need to top up my lantern. No. Oh, like that? Perfect. The desert dunes were like waves in a sluggish sea. When the caravan moved, the land appeared motionless, but in camp the hills moved. Weird. So this is the wine cellar. Already it's trying to do a spook on me. Hey, memories. Where did the Baron go? Who cares? He left us enough wine to last us a lifetime. Or at least until tomorrow. <laughs> well, how generous of the Baron, though it seems like he wanted to trap you in here. Hello? Cooper. Why did that door close? There's a lot of barrels in here. Mm. Hello. Okay. Um, it's behind door number two. If an enemy is near, stay out of sight and hide in the darkness. Pfft, why would I need to do that? What's over here? Got the light coming in. Hello, what are you? Landing up. Okay, hello. Hey. Hey. Hey, boom. Look at you. Where, where are you going? Is it safe? I think it's safe. So he just kind of appeared and disappeared? Okay, that, that's cool too. Your disappearing magic trick won't work on me, sir. Where the hell did you go? I mean, it's not like I'm I'm hunting you or anything, but I would like to know. Uh, anything in here? Nope, oh, I see a thing. Hello? Orbament. I think I pronounced that right. Okay, so I believe that there was four chemicals that I needed. That's, that's two. So I check that door, that door, and that door. And there, there's a monster in here somewhere, I think. So I haven't seen him again. What's behind door number three? Or four, I think. Is that oil? Sweet. Tinderbox. Uh, another tinderbox. Uh, hello. Calamine. Oh, no shit. Your sanity is dangerously low. Make sure to stay in the light and try to make progress. Well, you know, I was trying till you smacked me in the face with a barrel. Hey, I'm alive. The barrel didn't kill me. Okay, um... I'm guessing this is my only way out, so I gotta move the... the rocks and... stuff. The rocks are trying to trap me. You get out of the way there. Can I shake you loose? No. Oh. What about you? No. What about the little one in the back? There we go. Got the big one loose. Push you over there. Uh, little one, come around. There's someone walking above me, and I don't like it. Alright, I need you to fall over. Sort of like that. Yeah, exactly. There we go. And you to fall over as well. Quiet down voices in my head. More monsters, one or the other. Um, let's move you to the side. I think that's good enough. It'll do. Alright. That did it. Sanity restored. Alright, now I need to go in here. Excuse me. I just restored some sanity and now you're taking it away? 
<sighs> what happened here? That looks like flesh and blood. There's a chest. Oh, and some memories. What's happening? Oh, it feels like my chest is going to burst. Oh. Ooh. Oh my God, Wilhelm, do something! Except it. We're not getting out of here. Uh, How can you say that? Alexander, you piece of shit! Let us out of here! <laughs> So Alexander killed them. Somehow, maybe this note will explain more. I picked up the Aqua Regia. Or Regia. Wilhelm's last words. My name is Wilhelm, House of Greyich. Uh, these are my final words, my confession and testament. Two years ago, I was summoned to Castle Brennenburg. As most of the atrocity, I was curious about what the supposed Knight of the Order would want from me, and accepted the invitation. The Baron was friendly and offered me a proposition. It dawned on me that the nature of the contract was sordid, and that the reason I was chosen was because of the follies of my past, and not the honors I'd been rewarded with during my time as a soldier. I was to kidnap healthy humans upon his slightest whim, and do so without asking questions. In return, he would attest to my character at the royal court, advancing my position within noble society. I would like to claim that I struggled with my decision, but it came swiftly and I accepted wholeheartedly. Ever since that day, I brought men, women, and children to Brennenburg. I can't remember the numbers, but there were maybe perhaps even a hundred, none of whom were ever seen or heard from again. Tonight the Baron invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I had my suspicions as we descended the stairs, but he insisted and joined us in a toast. The wine tasted fine and the men drank without restraint. So begins the punishment for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. I was weak and fell into his diabolic ways. My men are screaming. Their skin has been pierced by their own tangled bones. I feel my insides revolt against their God-given nature. Blood has begun to pour from my eyes, and I can no longer... God damn, Alexander, that's brutal. Okay, um, we got all the chemicals now, so we can head back to the laboratory then. But this part's running a bit long, so I'm going to have to end this here. Thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time.